Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I did a look on this orange halo eye. I call it the hummingbird and everything that I use I will show in the video pretty soon. I decided I wanted to do a talk over for this one. So if you want to see I created this look, then keep on watching. I'm going to start off by going in with Bobbi Brown's hydrating cream and the little one. You're just going to get it and you're going to apply it all over your face. Because this stuff works a miracles, let me tell you. And I naturally have dark brows, so I'm going to go in with Anastasia pomade in granite. And then some brow powder in ebony. some concealer to conceal around my brows. Carving out both brows, I'm going to go in with some translucent powder and set my concealer. For today's look, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Electric Palette as well as a Morphe palette and this is one of the palettes that you basically just grab your own palette and then you grab your own shadows and you fill it in with whatever colors you want and me I love color myself so I went with some brights and we're gonna be using that and I'll make sure I leave a list of like every shadow that I use in the description box so you guys can check it out and get yourself some notes but for my last palette, I'm going to be going in with the Urban Decay Full Spectrum palette, and it's another goodie good. It has like all the bright colors. And obviously if you guys don't own any of these or anything of that sort, go ahead and find something that fits your price, fits your budget, and get it started. So I'm just going to go in with this bright yellow shadow and put it all over my crease. And just build it up to the yellow shade that I want. this orange shade right here and put that in my crease as well I'm gonna just keep grabbing product little by little and adding it until I get the color that I want. Then I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Electric Palette in Slow Burn. And it's just like a bright red orange. Renaissance palette. I'm going to go in with regular. Then I'm going to go in 
with this white shade and I'm just going to put that and help enhance my brow bone. look is a halo eye I like to go in with the brown shade and put it in my outer part of my eye and then the inner part of my eye just before putting in black and then with these halo eyes you're just gonna want to bring in slightly and then bring the other side in slightly and leave the middle part bare Now I'm going to go in with a black eyeshadow just to add depth. Then I'm going to go back in with my orange just to blend everything together. Going back in with the white, I'm going to pack it all over the center of my lid. Oh, uh. Go back in and blend it out. Then I'm going to go in with a little bit of Stella's foil eyeshadow in the color Vintage Black Gold. And I'm just going to pack it in the center of my lid. Then I'm going to go in with some black liquid liner to do my wing. go in with a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This stuff is A1 on closing and filling gear pores. I just rub it together on my fingertips and put it in my T-zone. Then I'm going to go in with the Born This Way foundation in the color Sand. And As always, the Anastasia foundation stick in the color banana and put that in my T-zone and it just helps highlight your face. My concealer spoon brush broke and I was so sad and I wanted to cry. But it's okay because I'm going to get new ones. Fail. some translucent powder to just set our face. Then going in with the Kat Von D contour kit, I like to mix this shade and this shade because I am a dark ass free holy. <sighs> oh, uh. 
voir. And this just makes your double chin not be there anymore. <laughs> That way your face can be evenly bronzed out and you don't look like someone just sucked the soul out of you. Yeah. As always, going in with MAC Deep Plum for my blush. It's a really mauve purple shade. One of my favorites in the whole entire world. so I can clean up my contour slightly because it was looking rough <laughs> with regular then going in with red ochre just gonna put it at the very end after that we're gonna go in the inner corner and just make a little like cat eye effect Then after doing your inner corner, you're going to go in with a black liner. Any black liner is good. Then for lashes, I'm going to go in with, obviously, as always, Vegas Nay Grand Glamour Lashes. These lashes are... The best thing in the whole entire world. They will put them set to heaven. Find them at Target, Walmart, CVS, Walgreens. Vegas name, Crown Glamour. doing all of that we're gonna go in with Anastasia Rivera highlighter for the cheekbones and the tip of my nose right now this has been my go-to highlighting routine because I feel like it just makes it pop bright enough to blind a bitch all of that in between see the problem with highlight or at least the problem I think I have maybe I'm pretty sure everybody has it is how do you know what too much highlight is like Real life question, what is too much highlight? And we're gonna go in with a Stila Kitten. It says that it's an eyeshadow, but it works better as a highlight, personally. Do you see this blinding? One swipe is all you need. Really, seriously, this is really all you need. But I'm just extra. I'm the extra is person you'll ever probably meet. Highlight all day one. I'm gonna go in with the Kylie Lip Kitten Love Bite. This isn't Love Bite. This is Dulce K. Just kidding.
Oh, well. So this is the finished look. Everything that I used will be put in the description bar below. If you guys aren't already subscribed to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. If you guys do recreate the look, make sure to tag me in my social media because I want to see what you guys are creating, what I'm helping you guys create if it's working for you. Thank you guys so much for watching.